Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we are going to be using the Grenadier strategy. We're going to be testing it out. We're going to be seeing how good it can do. I promised you this video yesterday on that one video that I won one defense and I was so happy about. Um, anyway guys, we're going to try this out. So first, I noticed that, nope, we can't do that base. There's some anti-grenadier bases that pretty much you don't want to attack with grenadiers. I noticed, um, I kind of learned grenadier strategy from people who attacked my base. Um, we can't do bases like that. Those up, what do you call those? Front-loaded base designs or something like that. Um, we can do these types of bases, but it is a tiny bit harder to make it work and he's online so you know what it doesn't even matter okay we'll try this guy you know it doesn't work with every single base design but it does work with quite a few base designs i'm going to save that base for when i have scorchers because that's a very easy base with lots of loot okay this base looks somewhat good although he does have a 30 percent that should be fine he does have a 30 percent damage boost okay so first you have to take out the shock launchers that is the main, that's the main thing you have to waste your energy on. It's not a waste. That's the main thing you have to use your energy on, the shock launchers. So now we're just going to drop critters and we're going to come up with our strategy. Now I always, I know, I know that some people are going to comment and say that's not how you use them. But you know what? I'm not a pro at these, so I'm just trying to learn so you guys can't, you know, don't, don't go up in arms about how I'm attacking because you know what I'm not a pro you guys know that I'm only human I'm only human okay uh, hopefully these cannons get taken down okay so sometimes cannons are in range and sometimes cannons aren't in range I am also gonna be trying to move the webcam frame down a few inches because someone commented and he's like yeah you should move it down just so we can see your resources because right now you can't see resources and I was like Wow, that's a very good idea. So thank you so much, bro, for telling me that. So, so far we've lost one, and I don't quite know how we lost it. We are going to be dropping a med kit on the left-hand side. Um, probably from, actually, yeah, it's probably from Doom Mines. Boom Mines. Boom Mines, Doom Mines, whatever. They should make a Doom Mine. It does, like, so much damage. And I need to drop some shocks on these Boom Cannons because they're in the wrong places. Um, but yeah, that would be so freaking epic. You guys got to man. How is that shock launcher not down yet? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, we're going to wait. We're going to use a few extra energy just to take down. Come on. Take down the boot. I don't want to waste a whole nother one. It definitely would have been worth it because I saved so much. Um, who's excited, guys? I'm super pumped for Rogue One. The new movie that's like the biggest that's like I'm, i've been waiting for that movie all my life guys no ever since they announced it i have been like waiting for it and waiting just just no that that yeah, guy that yeah that guy died um so yeah we did lose a few we lost a medic we lost a few grenadiers so you know what it's not clean but it worked it's a dirty strategy you win hopefully you win if you're pro i'm not that pro um, but yeah, I, I think I'm getting all these webcam, all the webcam glitches, all the webcam stuff figured out, which is good because that's kind of what I need. I need to figure out, get all of this figured out. Now, I haven't really figured out Clash Royale yet. I've just been figuring out Boom Beach. And guys, we got a an important announcement coming up. We are approaching our two year, I believe, our two year anniversary, guys, which is freaking insane. It's epic. It's either two or three years. I can't remember. Two years. No? Yeah, two years, I believe. I believe it's two years. Okay, that, that was a lot more expensive than I thought that was. That cost me 70 diamonds. This strategy is definitely expensive, and it's probably not the best strategy if you do have losses um okay i don't know i don't know about this base because all the rocket launchers are up front which is bad for many reasons one reason is i don't think my medics can heal up that fast okay we'll see this guy this guy looks pretty easy off the bat okay i'm wondering if i should do it the rocket launchers are kind of in weird positions we're gonna find a new opponent just because he does have higher level defenses and someone wanted me to do gear heart guys what the heck 
Should I do gear? Not, not with this. Actually, we're gonna scout this, cause. <laughs> oh, okay. There was a YouTuber. I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. It's like Boomy Schnorts or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Don't hate guys. Um, but yeah, he took on Gearheart with only Gumbo Energy. He beat Gearheart with only Gumbo Energy. That guy's boosted. How insane is that? That's like the best. That's that's insane. I just gotta say, he had like 283% gumbo energy boost, and this is the base we have been looking for. Where have you been all my life, base? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I can't pronounce his name. See, that's a problem with these names. You can't pronounce them, so I can't like, you know, I just can't pronounce them. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a flare up here so I focus on the gold mons because you know what. You want to take that gold off the bat. You don't want to let that gold sit and be open for anyone to take. Uh, we're gonna, hopefully, we're, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, guys. We are going to be fine here. That boom cannon is in range. Get a shock. Yes, I got the shock down. It's just kind of weird, boom cannons. Um, you know, like, sometimes they're, like, you take them down so early in the battle. And then sometimes it takes so freaking long. For them to like, it's just weird. It's so weird, guys. See, like that one, and then this one over here. We're just taking them down with energy because that's the most efficient way possible. Now, we are going to be dropping a shock here, which was kind of a fail shock, but you know what? It does the job. We've lost two Grenadiers, which is definitely a lot better than last time. We actually just lost a third one. Uh, we got to take down these boom cannons. And I am actually wasting so much energy on barrages, it's becoming a waste now. So we're going to start spending our energy on actually taking them down with artillery, which is going to be super awesome because, you know what, artillery is so much better than barrages. The only... The, <laughs> I have a friend in real life, guys, um, who uses, like, one boat of grenadiers. Now, I don't know if this is the effective strategy, but it uses one boat of grenadier. I know that these critters are gonna die, guys. I know. Um, he uses one boat of grenadiers just to clear the mines. Now, I would just say this: like he uses a tank strategy with like this. He I, I can't remember if he uses heavies or not. I think just tanks, medics, and grenade one boat of grenadiers. Now, here's how I feel about this. Now, I do know that some mines actually lost a lot more than I thought I did. 48 this time. We're getting better, guys. We are getting better. We'll do like one more attack. And this is the first time I'm actually feeling my asthma kick in. I don't know why I was sitting out in the sun all day. So maybe that has something to do with it. But I'm actually having a really hard time breathing right now. Anyway. He uses one bow of grenadiers just to clear mines. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this for many reasons. One reason is, you know what? That bow of grenadiers is going to be so pointless. Like, the mines are just... It's its not going to take down, like, any mines. I'm just trying to find a good player base, by the way. It's not going it, to... It's going to take down some mines, but it's not going to take down a lot of mines. We'll keep that base. If we can't find any others, we'll go back to that other base. Um... I'm just trying to find bases that do not have boom cannons up on the front and that have... Okay, we're going to try a base like this and see how this type of base works. We do need to take down this and this first. He is a level 55, so he's about 10 levels lower. And uh, he actually just... He does have... Oh my gosh. I wasted so much energy then. Okay. We're going to drop our troops down here. We are going to drop one boat of or one box of critters, whatever you want to call it, because there are so many mines, and you know what? Some mines still will be destroyed, but look at that. See how ineffective their mine is? They would not have taken down any of them. And that is, uh, like, yeah, they'll take some mines behind the actual building, but now we actually have to start uh, focusing and dropping med kits. Because you know what? These troops are going to die so fast. These troops are going to die so fast, but as soon as we kill this rocket layer, or the rocket row, I was talking about rows the other day, uh, I think we'll be fine. And you know what? I think we'll be fine. Now, I have talked about in the past, that's going to get taken, okay. I have talked about in the past bringing a boat of, uh, like, Zookas for some front-loaded damage, 
Um, I would recommend doing that and the only reason I'm not doing that now is because I'm just trying to use this strategy. I'm just trying to use all Grenadiers. Now this isn't even all Grenadiers. I'm just showing you guys how epic this strategy is on some basis. Like this strategy is one of the best strategies ever. Um, and I know not a lot of people see that and you might not see that from my video, but if someone is able to take down a base without losing any, then that guy is very good at using Grenadiers and those Grenadiers are super overpowered. He took down my base. He took down, that guy took down my base without losing any Grenadiers. None, none. And I don't even think he had a very insane boost up. It, it, that just goes to show you how insane this strategy is. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you how good it is with my gameplay because I'm not the best, but this strategy is one of the best strategies in Boom Beach. Now, it's also not an, a very efficient. It's not very efficient either, guys. Um, as you see there, if you do lose some, you you spend like so many diamonds and so much gold. This is the, I, I believe this is the most expensive strategy in Boom Beach. Um, over everything. It's either tanks or this. I believe it's this. It's the most expensive strat or the most expensive troops in Boom Beach. So if you do lose them, which I think is stupid, like nobody uses Grenadiers. I'm starting, oh my gosh, I'm starting to see Grenadiers resurfacing. I lost a little less on that, which is good. Um, I'm starting to see Grenadiers resurfacing, which is good, but still, they're so underpowered. I mean, no, they're not underpowered, they're very overpowered, but people don't use them. They don't see their full potential. See, um, you can see here that it, I don't even have all of these, yeah, I do, I, I did spend it all. So you can see that, that every troop is a zero gold, which means I actually get gold back when I try to switch loadouts. So that shows you that that's the most expensive deck. Like, I believe if I train up all max Grenadier boats, it costs me like 600,000 gold. And my webcam just stopped, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did like it, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.